This is Joe with that hashtag show. I am here with Steve Cardenas again. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Awesome, man. You've been on the road quite a lot. Yeah, I'm traveling probably like 35 weeks out of the year now. Uh, you know what? I do have a question. You are a former Red Mighty Morphin Ranger. We obviously know the movie's coming out in 2017. What do you think about the casting choice of of uh, the new Red Ranger? I'm super stoked, man. You know what? I'm just I'm I'm happy. You know, uh, I know that they're taking a lot of time and a lot of care to make this a good a good movie. You know, they don't want to disappoint any of the 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 fans, and they want to really give something to the new fans. So uh, I know they're taking their time with it. So I think they're making good choices so far, and uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what's gonna what's gonna happen with it. You know, I do got to get your opinion on one thing. Um, originally, the Rangers, well, not originally. People were saying it's going to be a reboot, and then they're also saying it's going to be a continuation of the series. In your preference, what would you rather have, and what do you think is going to happen? Well, I, I think if they're going to do it right, they need to do an origin story. They got to go to back to the beginning, you know, and they got to tell the story and how it went um, and how it all got started, because that's what the old fans are going to remember, and everybody that watch, every, even the new fans, that's what they watch now too. They watch all the shows on Netflix. They start from the beginning. So you're saying the, an, the you? So you're saying reboot? Yeah, they need a reboot. Yeah. Oh, not a continuation, a reboot. I think it needs to be a reboot, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Are you down to take some fan questions? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Hey, this message is for Steve Cardenas. I'm a huge fan, <laughs> and I'd like to know, um, I'd like to meet Jason Font. I heard you know him. Um, I've heard he's just a beautiful, beautiful, sexy man. And if I could get his autograph or some way his address, um, I was hoping maybe you could introduce me to him. <laughs> That's funny. Well, actually, I know Jason Font, and he's actually a huge jerk, so you really don't want to meet him. I'm just saying that right now, okay? Throwing that out there. But I do have his phone number, so I'll go ahead and give that to you, okay? Here, let me get it out. Oh, great. <laughs> get it out. Oh, we'll just post it right Yeah, we'll, we'll post it, okay? I'm going to we'll post it on the bottom there, yeah. Are you ready for the yeah. next one? Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve. This is CR Hannah. I have a challenge for you. Do a cartwheel without bending your knees. All right. All right, I can do that. Are we going to do that right now? Whoa, you're going to do it right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Hold on a second. All right. Pretty much what Steve just said, Ciara Hannah, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. You ready for the next? Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> Hey guys, TrekkieB47 here from the Ranger Command Power Hour podcast, and I wanted to ask you what was the most uh, difficult physical stunt or shooting day that you had to do on set? Thanks. Well, uh, one of the most difficult shooting days was when we were doing the uh, movie, and it was the uh, rock monster fight scene at the end. And um, one of the most difficult stunts for me was we were up on this cliff and they had us, um, they had this thing where I was supposed to fall off the cliff and then I'm, as I'm falling off the cliff, I catch my hand. So they have this wire that they kept attaching to me and every time I would kind of fall off the cliff and catch my hand, the wire would keep, like, kind of keep cutting into my wrist. So that was the most, uh, that was the most difficult one for me. And um, I actually ended up having to let the stunt guy finish it because I just couldn't get it right the right way. So, um, so if you see that part where I'm hanging from the cliff, that is not me. <laughs> I, I have a question for you, yeah. a personal question. Do you, did you, JDF, uh, Johnny and David, did you guys have any kind of competitions on who can do like the best stunts or the most stunts? <laughs> No, well, I think J Jason, Frank, and Johnny Bosch were a little bit more into that. They were always trying to do, like, uh, they were trying to one-up each other a little bit because Johnny's, like, kung fu skills are, like, so amazing. And JDF's, like, Shotokan stuff is just the truth, you know? So um, it, it, they used to try to do that stuff. They'd always try to do the Hong, Hong Kong flips, and they'd run up the tree and do the backflip and stuff. Me, I'm a lover, not a fighter, you know what I mean? I used you to just hang out. I just hang out, man. I'd let you guys do your thing, man. When it's time for me to do my fight scenes, I'm not going to mess around. I'll do it. But when it's when they yell cut, I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go get a mai tai. Let me go see some girls in Australia. You know, that's what that's how I roll. And these guys are always trying to one up each other. But that was more of what happened. That's how I would roll too. Ready for for another one? Mm -hmm. There we go. Hi, my name is Omar Cabrera. Um, my question to you guys is, who is your idol? Who did you guys look up to when you were a little kid, or who you look up to today? It could be anybody, a character or a person, because I know when I was sick with cancer, I was, I admired you guys and I looked up to you guys and 
you guys are my idols so oh, thank awesome. you very much and thank you for answering my that's question dope. have a that's nice dope. day thanks hashtag show you guys are awesome bye <laughs> that's awesome well you know what man he's wearing the shirt of my hero superman superman was my ultimate and when i was a young kid i actually made my own superman suit um i had these blue sweats and a blue sweater and so i put those on and then i took my red and yellow underoos and pulled those over the sweatpants and then i put the red socks over the sweats and i t uh, safety pinned a, a a towel to my back and we had this old mattress in our backyard and i used to jump off the roof of our garage onto the mattress think i was superman I had like vaseline in my hair and everything man it was pretty cool the yeah the curl yeah the curl so you know la it's funny you're talking about superman because last year you were actually i interviewed you wearing mm -hmm. a superman yeah. you were wearing a superman he's costume my, which is my hero man yeah so uh the karate kid so yeah, that that's awesome. And then uh, the other, my final question is going to be: Can we expect to ever see you on a new season of Power Rangers or the movie? You're just gonna have to wait and see. All right, all right. We'll leave it at that. Thanks so much, Steve.